Hey guys, this is Comic Uno, and today I'm doing the top 10 most anticipated comics of the month. And number 10 for me is Black Lightning issue one. Honestly, it's been a shame since we haven't gotten a Black Lightning book in a really long time. I don't think we even had a book when the, the title, when the, the TV show was live. So I'm excited just to see these characters again. It's been a really long time. I love the family dynamic of these characters. So, and just seeing a milestone return in, in a big way is gonna be a lot of fun as we get into the end of the year. Moving on to number nine, and that's the question all along the Watchtower issue one. Alex Segura is on. Love Alex's writing. And I'm really curious to see Renee just tell a story again. I think that's been kind of fun about All In so far is that obviously you have the big stories of like Absolute Wonder Woman and Superman telling their stories, but then you also have a chance to see Adam and Renee tell their own stories as well. Moving on to number eight, You Never Heard of Me issue one. This is by a creative team. I really like actually the, the artists we have worked with in the past for our, our books and have done some variant covers with Eliza. This has to do with seeing the future in a way or being able to see the worst and best outcome and and how that affects this person's interpersonal relationships and I, I feel like that's a really cool concept I, I, again I really like the art style I like that it looks like a YA title so moving on to number seven which is Venom War It's Jeff if issue one anytime I can read It's Jeff I'm gonna take the excuse to do so and I'm really excited to see how this is gonna tie into a darker event like Venom War, which honestly I haven't been following, so I'm also excited to see if this is gonna be new reader friendly, which most of the tie-ins have been up to this point. Moving on to number six, which is Hornsby and Halo issue one. Out of the Ghost Machine one shot, this is the book I was most excited for. I obviously just juxtaposition of these two characters, the the more YA angle of it, I think is gonna be interesting as well. And I, I just was sucked into their personalities right away from that one shot. So if I got that from like 10 pages, I'm curious to see what I'm gonna get from that issue one. Moving on to number five which is west coast avengers issue one firestar i want to see her back i love that she's a main character again in this and it's been a while since we've got the west coast avengers they're they're a fun team and jerry dugan's on it i i really enjoy his writing a lot so i just want to want to see what his angle is going to be with again a, a franchise we haven't seen in a hot second. Moving on to number four, which is Just League Unlimited issue one. A big reason I'm excited for this is A, the Just League's back, but Carol Ferris seems like she's gonna play a big part. And I'm really excited just to see Carol be a hero, be out of Green Lantern shadow and be able to join the Justice League and find her own voice as a hero. And then of course, again, the bigger layers of it all, being able to see B or C list heroes join the Justice League and, and make this a bigger story for the DC universe. Uh, and a, a great creative team attached to this as well. Moving on to number three, which is Power Rangers Prime issue one let's see where power rangers going post mighty Morphin power rangers i think it's going to really expand the cast and be able just to to explore other rangers again past mighty Morphin power rangers it's also the same creative team or the same writer so i'm also just excited to see that story continue in a new way i love melissa's writing so very excited to see more power rangers moving on to number two which is absolute superman issue one i really enjoyed absolute batman i was blown away by that book i i thought absolute wonder woman was solid so what what is superman going to bring. These are, you know, we have the Trinity now and I, I just want to see how it's all going to be connected and, and honestly, I don't know what to expect from Superman at all. And that's kind of been what's so fun about these absolute titles is that you just have no expectations, don't know what's going to be thrown at you and then you read it and you're like, I'm totally sold. So I hope I get the same feeling with Superman. All right, moving on to my number one pick, which is Batgirl issue one. I am a, such a big Batgirl fan. So anytime you could get a Batgirl title, uh, I'm all in <laughs> as, as DC would say, but also Cassandra Kane. It's been a while since she's been a lead to anything. And she's such an interesting character that deserves an ongoing to explore all those cool character beats with her connection to Lady Shiva and, and also her, her being mute. I've always found to be interesting. The way she sees the world is really interesting. Thing, so I'm, I'm very excited about this title. So let me know in the comments below what are the books you're most anticipating. This is Comic Uno, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.